Hey y'all, sorry for the long pause in videos. If you're new to the channel, I create content for young creatives, teachers, and students on filmmaking and photography. Today, I wanna help you improve your lighting for your Zoom calls, for your online classes, if you teach like me, or that YouTube channel you've been thinking of starting. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So if you've been a fan of the channel, my studio has changed over time and I wanted to make the lighting uh, in the room more dynamic, interesting and add depth and separation. So what you see here is the final result, but it wasn't always this way. As you can see, my scenes were very flat. If you're watching this in the future, I'll post a video on my three point lighting on the cue card up above. Three point lighting is a great foundation. You have the key, which is the main light, the fill, which softens the shadows. And then you have the hair light, also known as the backlight, which separates the subject myself from the background. In my case, I went with a key light and a hair light. I added some backlights for accent and color. So let's start off with my main light and that's right above the camera. It's being shot through a diffuser, a soft box. This soft box creates a soft source of light that otherwise would be a spotlight. But because of the diffusion, it reduces harsh shadows. And I can show you what the scene looks like without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And this is the scene without the key light. So as you can see, you can see the uh, hair light, which is the next light that I'm gonna talk about. I picked up this LED tube that's actually a set of six on Amazon. I have a couple, a few of them in my garage and then I put one right above me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see what it looks like without it. This is the scene without the hair light. As you can see, it's not as dynamic. I don't pop. I kind of get swallowed into the background a bit. So here's the scene with the hair light. Once again, as you can see, I pop out. It's more dynamic and it does its job very well. On to the lights behind me. So I picked up this RGB LED strip from Ikea. As a matter of fact, all the lights in my background are from Ikea. I like them because you can change the color depending on your mood. The last lights that I'm going to mention, I picked up these two clamp on spotlights to kind of spot the two paintings I have on my left and right. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on how to add color and contrast to your next video. Let me know what you found to be most useful. Keep in mind that the links that I have below for all the things that I mentioned are not affiliate links. So I get no monetary benefit. They're there for you. But if you found the video to be helpful, feel free to hit the tip jar. Consider joining my Patreon for exclusives, behind the scenes and extended content. And remember to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications when I upload my next video. But until next time, keep shooting y'all. Thank you for joining me, I said that twice. I create context, uh, uh, yeah. So let's do that again, cause I messed that up.